outro é o with new video and today it's time for the first impression of the other melt palette the muerte i think it's pronounced like that so i have done a video with a video with a video with a, a video with the vita palette i will leave it up here and uh, now it's time for muerte and this is I did this in the Vita palette I think as well but these two palettes look amazing together so yeah we are digging into the Muerte and I think I know what I want to do uh, I have <laughs> swatched some of the shadows and if you didn't know this is mostly like the green and blue palette it has some reds uh, or brown Brown, brown reds but yeah I did uh, two two different eyes with the Vita palette I was thinking about doing it with this one as well but no I'm going to do another thing that I really like to do because <laughs> I'm going to do a halo eye so I will just zoom you in and then we get started and I will have a little first impression review in the end of this video but now I just think we hop into this makeup. Okay, so I will start with this shade because it's like the only light shade. Okay, this is pretty light as well, but it's like only two light matte shades. So I'm going to start with this Lagrimas. And I'm so sorry for all well, the mispronunciation. I am sorry because I cannot speak Spanish and I don't know how to pronounce these and this is a good shade. It feels a little bit darker than in the pan but it's nothing unusual with these kinds of colors but it is opaque or it you can do it opaque and it doesn't um, patchy so that it's that is good and if you're wondering why I have my eyebrows on I don't know why I feel like I have to say this but I come home from work a little while ago and I didn't I usually take my eyebrows off when I'm filming but now it's like I don't I don't have the energy to do it and I'm going to paint them on so I will just have them on but it feels a little bit strange to do my eyeshadow with eyebrows because I normally do them afterwards but so I think I really like this shade I was a little bit nervous that it was going to be like patchy or something but I think it's pretty good and it's now I don't know. I think I want to use Duelo and Angelito as my halo. We will try that. So I go in with the dark first. Out here. And now I'm going to not to fuck this halo eye up I usually do something like that and then I'm doing it on this eye on the outer corner because it's usually with this I fudge it up and I already fudge it up I think why is it so hard for me I don't know and when I'm recording this, it's just one week left and then it's Christmas. I like don't know how this happened and I do not wish for like a single thing for Christmas. And it feels a little bit strange because when you were younger or were, when I was younger, I had like a long list. I wish like for a cooking book and that's all I go in my inner corner and I 
think I will just go like this and if I want some more of the dark shade I can go in with it afterwards but just so I don't get too much of the dark one. Okay and then I'm going in with this green shimmer as my halo and this always gets bigger than this one so maybe I should make this one a little bit smaller they always have different shapes okay I will have it like that and now I'm going with this one and we will see how this is the brush picks up a good amount of shadow so we will see I think it would have worked better with a glitter glue but I think I will just pack it on and it feels like most videos I have seen with these two palettes it feels like people like this palette the most and I don't know it feels like the Vita palette is more like my colors I don't really know. Okay, so I think something like this and this looks pretty good. I had to pack it a little bit but nothing was like impossible or hard. I will go in with the deeper or the darker shade to fix the edges a little bit. Right now I just want to slap this on in the middle too. And I like that it's pretty similar to the matte shade I have in my crease. So it looks good. And I really don't need to blend it. Just put it over. And everything works out for itself. So I'm going back in with a darker shade. Just a little bit I will tap it off. And then blend the edges and I don't mind to use glitter glue when I do my halo eyes but it's always nicer when you don't need it because it goes faster and it's not sticky and it's always so much easier with the blending Maybe I shouldn't have said that before I succeeded with the blending. Okay, so I will go in with a brush and take the shade that I had in my crease and just take it up here so it's not like too dark right in my inner corner. I don't know if that was better or not. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but now it's done. Okay, so I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back and we do the under eyes together. And I'm thinking about maybe to do a little inner corner highlight, I don't know, but I will fix my base and then I come back. Okay, so I'm back. And for my under eyes, I actually think I want to go in with this red one that is called Corazon. Corazon. That's more French. I just want to swatch it, I think. I think that will look cool. So I take that one. I will just tap it so I don't have like a red all over my face. Ooh. I really like the red from the Vita palette, so... <laughs> I like was certain that I was going to like this one. Okay, I really like this. I don't know if I look maybe a little bit dead, but let's go with the theme with the palette. So, okay, and for my inner corner, I want to go in with this Kalaka. And I think I actually want to try without spraying it. 
or maybe not now because I think if I not spray it I think it will get everywhere and I don't want to have it everywhere and I think I got a little bit too much on the brush so I will just go in with the red one that lies on top amazing on that one I got a little bit too much in my inner corner I know I will try to take it a little bit more easier on the other eye. This was a little bit more like mm, golden than I thought it was going to be. Nothing against that at all. Okay! I like this. I will go with so i will put on some mascara something in my waterline i don't know if i want to go with green or red but i think i will go with green put on mascara and try to choose a little bit so i will be back so this is my finished look for my waterline i used sulu from colourpop and on my lips i used infusion from kaleidos and i like this look i like the red under the eyes i think it went good and it's not like all green so i really like it and this shade that i took in my inner corner this amazing so for this look i have used these two shades and also these three shades and i have nothing to complain about in any of these shades i think they worked good together they were all opaque or buildable they wasn't patchy or anything then they felt like a little bit dry this felt a little bit dry I swatched it before I start but on the eyes it feels really really good so I am really happy with this palette it is going to be fun to do something like smoky dark red with this like use these four colors and then go into the blue a little bit going to be so fun to play with this so I am really happy with this palette it doesn't feel like it's my style even though I do the most when it comes to colors but I am happy that I bought these two together and it will be fun to play with them both maybe do like a palette bingo with both of the palettes and it's the same as with the other one um, it feels very luxurious the palette it's very heavy and the packaging is amazing it's so good quality it's a really good mirror the only thing I'm not that thrilled about I think it's a little bit too long I would rather have it like take these shade and put them here so like more like a square than this because I think it's hard to store and it's not that many palettes that are like this so I don't like the shape of it but like the artwork of the palette and uh, this thing make it more amazing the only thing that bugs me a little bit the front looks amazing but the back side of the palettes they do not match they almost match but not like 100% and that bugs me a little bit but I can live with it so I think this is a really good palette, my first impression is that at least and I'm looking forward to play with this more and that is always a good grade for a palette. So yeah, I am happy with the palette, I like the look even though I, I don't know why is it so hard for me to do halos so they look like the same, I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!